So today we're at McCutcheon High School. This has always been a high school that uh, has kind of a, a warm place in my heart for it because of a number of things. Num number one, when we first moved to town, I needed to pick up some income and so I did some substitute teaching and this was one of the schools that I got a couple substitute teaching gigs in. Um, I spent most of my time at Harrison, but I, I got a couple spots here at McCutcheon. I kind of like that. It's on the south side of town. It's closer to where I live. But the other thing that was really special to me about this place is that McCutcheon is where we had our first ever information meeting. When we got our church started, the first thing that we did is we had an information meeting where basically we went to the neighborhoods around here and we told them, hey, we are going to start a brand new church. Are you interested? And we passed out all these flyers and postcards. Um, and then we came here and we had it. Uh, the very first video I made in the 21 days this month had a little clip from that information meeting. And so this place has always been kind of a welcoming place to me in my heart. I have fond feelings about McCutcheon. That is until I learned that McCutcheon is one of the schools that had some of this racist bullying going on. And the more I learned about the trouble in the Tippecanoe School Corporation, the more I realized we need to be spending time in prayer. See, the truth of the matter is that all of our schools are populated by kids who grow up in homes around here. Now, I know that sounds like an obvious statement, but it's true. And it matters. Number one, the schools represent the attitudes of the neighborhoods. Number two, the attitudes of the neighborhoods feed into the schools. And you have this perpetuating loop. And so what we need to do is we need to pray. We need to pray that inside the schools, Students would find a place of refuge, a place of safety, a place where they can learn and grow and become everything that God wanted them to be. And we need to pray that they take that home. Secondarily, I want you to join me in prayer for the homes, the, the people who are in the various homes in the various neighborhoods. We need to pray that in those homes, there's safety and security and that God would be present there. And then those kids who have God in their homes would bring that to the schools. I had an opportunity last year to speak at one of the um, Christian clubs in McCutcheon High here. And I was overwhelmed with just the realization that there are teenagers who love Jesus and want to spread his love to others. So, today, would you join me in prayer for McCutcheon and for the other high schools? And let's ask for God to move, move in this place and move in the homes that are represented by this place.